Hi, I'm Mary Beth Shaw. Thanks for watching today. I am coming to you as an artist, not as the founder of Stencil Girl Products, which is what I'm normally doing. And I have some art that I've put up on my website and I'm gonna be opening up to actually sell some of my original art. I haven't done this for quite a long time and I wanna tell you a story about it. This is, this is a story of an artist and the pandemic. And that artist is me, but I suspect that you will probably relate to a lot of what I'm sharing. For me, this whole year has been off, as with many of you, but um, especially for me, because my dad who has dementia required um, a hip replacement and it was scheduled for I think March 16th was the day, if I'm not mistaken. And I had gone to Cincinnati, Ohio to be there with him during the surgery. On the 15th, the day before, we got a call from the hospital. And you know, in the background, the pandemic had kind of been ramping up, if you remember back to those days. And um, we got a call that we were being instructed to drive him to the hospital and basically drop him off at the door for a hip surgery and that he was gonna be the last elective surgery at the hospital. <laughs> and my mom and I were just like, say what? <laughs> we're like, the man's got dementia, you know? And so my mom finally handed the phone over to me and I talked to them and explained the situation. And they said, we will allow one of you to come in and be with him. And so anyway, I won't belabor the point of that. My dad made it through the surgery and he did quite well and I was able to be there with him. My mom said, you have the better brain. I think you should be the one to go in with him, <laughs> which was funny, but anyway. So I was there for maybe a week or I don't even remember how long with him during his recovery. And then I ultimately had to drive home. And that was the time when the schools were being closed and I don't know about you, but I just was stopped in my tracks by it all. All I could do was just sit in our sunroom with my cats. And I cried and I just didn't know. It was like my entire teaching schedule for the year was canceling one by one by one. All of the things that I had planned as you, as all of us, I'm not trying to make it something that, you know, was distinct to me. It's like, we all experienced this together and it just was so hard and I couldn't make my art. And that was what was tragic for me because I typically express myself that way. So what did I do? Well, I almost always paint papers when I get stressed because it doesn't require an awful lot of brain power. But I started painting papers and making little parts and doing what I do, do eventually. And I finally made a piece of art. This was my first piece of art during the pandemic. And I assembled it mosaic style. So every little piece of this is a little piece of painted, painted magic that I put in there. And I started making some of these. So I made other ones. I made this one, then this one. And then I made this one, which looked a little bit more like me, I thought. And those other ones, I love them. I, they mean a lot to me. But then I started going into more of a composition that felt familiar, and I used some three-dimensional elements. And then I started doing live streams for Stencil Girl and getting back to my life and I made this piece during a bunch of the live streams where I just worked a little bit on the piece live stream after live stream after live stream and as I talked to the viewers on the live stream they would make suggestions like I would say well let's see let's put this stencil this one or this one and I would get advice and it was so fun and it was bringing back the joy of art for me. And what was happening is what has happened to me in so many other instances is art heals me. And I know from the comments I've gotten from people that it heals you too. 
So this was a piece that I did for a class we put up over on Stencil Girl Studio. It's called The Message, and this piece is during that class. Um, let's see some others. I like these little guys. Um, during this whole process of the pandemic, you know, I think a lot of us turned to retail therapy, dare I say. <clears throat> yeah, I know I did. <laughs> confession and watercolor was my drug of choice <laughs> I gotta just say I became smitten with handmade watercolors and so I started making these watercolor backgrounds and they became came the basis for some of these pieces like this one and here's some more like this one and I found that I was expanding my whole idea about art and my own vision and the way I express myself in different ways than I'd never done before and it was kind of exciting. These are some others that I did again with my mark making and my collage and all of the things I typically use in my work, but just expressing myself in a slightly different way for a slightly different time. This is probably one of my faves of my latest pieces. This I just finished a couple weeks ago and I like it quite a bit. And then this one too, I like a lot. So I've got them all up on my website. They're gonna go live soon. And if you're interested in collecting my art, this would be a great time. I've priced them very moderately because it's so important for me that my art finds a good, loving home. It's like sending my children out. So anyway, thank you for watching. And I hope that you have found some time to make some art yourself during um, these stressful days because it's the only thing holding me together. So thank you so much for watching.